everybody and welcome back to my channel for this Saturday morning, afternoon or evening across the world where you may be at. And today I want to do a reaction to the UK Chancellor Spring Statement Budget, which is MP Jeremy Hunt, H-U-N-T Hunt, for those to clarify. And he did a recent statement about how he's going to help out society in the UK and I want to talk on some things that he mentioned which I don't agree with and some things that I have questions on as a legally disabled autistic woman he failed to mention any support for disabled people whatsoever he yes clarified some um support for disabled children disabled young people but he didn't mention any support for disabled women or disabled adults at all he literally skimmed completely over us and basically ignored us so the first thing he says about is unemployment has been halved yet disabled people are still out of work with only 29 percent of us in any form of work whether that's part-time or full-time more growth for public services mm, no i don't believe that because i'm sorry but a lot of high street stores in my hometown have shut down and a lot of people have been made redundant or losing their jobs so I agree i don't agree with this then he says about household support to continue for six more months but again, he failed to mention whether this includes disabled people, people with physical issues, mental health issues. You know, he fails to clarify any minority group in that statement. So I want him to clarify on that. He then talks about the five pence cut in fuel duty, the alcohol duty freeze to continue until February, early March next year, budgeting advance loans from 12 months to 24 months, which again does that clarify with disabled people people with mental health issues who may be having to take out budgeting loans from the uk government for to keep them above float with bills 26 pounds 26 million pounds of funding for national theater and art projects so yeah we can afford 26 million pounds for arts and theater heritage projects which is great to get more people involved to see plays and natural history and beautiful scenery like gardens and churchyards and etc yeah i get that but why are we not putting that money into employment or why are we not putting that money into people with disabilities who need more support the uk government believes that we should be maintaining medicines for people again they haven't clarified whether this is for people with disabilities or people with health issues or whether it's just a general medicine issue that we need to be dealing with also then he says about the back to work scheme this irritates me no end because again does this back to work scheme for people with medical conditions he says it seems to work when you get transferred over to universal credit people with medical conditions who cannot work will be given us a chance in the workplace i'm sorry what how does this make sense because from what i've seen not a lot of disabled people are being given the chance to work or even have a chance at work whether that's volunteer work or doing some kind of work trial or whatnot and i think that this access to work scheme is clearly not going to work i think it's going to be something that's going to be problematic for quite a lot of us who have other underlying conditions like social anxiety anxiety disorder depression that kind of stuff so i think this is going to be very very far and in between then it says that um the nhs is still recovering from the pandemic and apparently we've got 200 doctors more a month and 400 more nurses a month not being funny are any of these nurses or doctors people with disabilities are they people with mental health issues and conditions because again it seems that you've over skimmed that topic entirely it's like we don't even exist for your budget or your scheme of working how you are claim to support people and then you're putting in another 4.3 billion pounds billion pounds let me get that clear for the nhs workforce some more stuff in the nhs so again is that going to be aimed for people with disabilities mental health issues physical health issues that want to work within the nhs is this something you are going to be willing to try is this something you're going to be willing to discuss with us is this something that's going to be a long-term situation or a short-term situation again you failed to mention any of this whatsoever and then the final thing that i want to touch on is that he mentioned about special educational needs and disability scheme 
for children and young people. He says there will be a hundred and five million pounds for the next four years for new specialist schools and new specialist support within England. Again, what disabilities and what schools will they be? Will they be schools specific for autism or disability or are they going to be a mix of disability, mental health, physical health, intellectual health issues? Is this going to be something that is just going to be a tick box exercise to say, oh yeah, you know, we're working with people with disabilities and we're working with families and carers and professionals and, you know, we're in talks with them. And because again, this is all to me seems too much of a tick box thing. So, oh yeah, we've got to be seen to work with people with disabilities. Oh yeah, we've got to be seen to be building more schools. We've got to be seen by to be doing more special educational needs and disabilities work. And to be frank, Suffolk is appalling with this and I have called this out major a lot of times. I think the problem is unless there's enough funding or enough people live with lived experience on the ground helping out this kind of work, we're not going to get anywhere, nowhere's going to change. And the problem is UK government can do so much, but again, they are not the ones with lived experience. You need to be getting people with lived experience who live with conditions on the ground to actually talk with you and collab with you and help you out doing the policies because if not things are not going to move any forward we're not going to see any changes it's just going to seem to be going round and round the same circle that we have done for the last five to ten years and something it hasn't changed there hasn't been much development with, with regards to specialist support services or special tools that can help people who may have disabilities and um you failed to mention uh, about any supports for adults with disabilities at all in this spring budget. And I think that's absolutely appalling. I think the UK government needs to take a long, hard look at themselves because adults with disabilities, again, are being failed in this spring budget. There's no mention of more household support, no support with regards to training or employment. I thought employment would have been mentioned because, again, only 29% of us with disabilities are in work. I think that's absolutely atrocious. We need to be doing better for people with disabilities and mental health issues. And I don't see this happening. I don't see any changes. And I think it's a shame because people with disabilities like me want to work. We want to be members of a productive society. We want to be given a chance. We want to be trusted. And unfortunately, it seems that the UK government, the Chancellor, has failed to mention any support whatsoever for us and any form of training or what he aims to do in the next five years for people with disabilities. I know there is the Autism Act and the Health and Social Care Act and also I think it's the Health and Social Care Act as well. But yeah, it's it's appalling. We need to be doing better to involve people with disabilities within this spring budget. I was a, I'm a bit upset, to be honest, that there hasn't been any people involved with this who are clearly disabled or mentally disabled or physically disabled or intellectually disabled visually disabled auditory disabled you know i think the uk government needs to step up what they're trying to do and i think this is a learning curve i think this is something that should have been adjusted in the spring budget i think this is something that should have been mentioned at the top of this budget rather than towards the end of this budget announcement i think it's a shame because clearly they haven't listened to any of their disabled constituents and we've even failed to be mentioned. So let me know what you think down below in the video description and I will see you on the next one. Bye guys.